So another old classic then is the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. I remember watching that, getting freaked out when I was a young person. Yeah. Yeah. So was that based on true events? No, it wasn't. Um, it, it was. It, they said it was based on a true story, and I did quite a lot of research. And, uh, you know, they say this location was in this little town called Poff down in Texas or wherever it was. Um, well, I, I haven't been to Poff, and I don't really want to go there because I think it's one of those one-horse towns where it's got an old bank or something and a seed store because they've all got seed stores out there, you know. Texas has got a unique character, hasn't I it? I love Texas, actually. I yeah. love it. I love Anything can happen. Yeah, right? I yeah. love Texans. But it was based, it was all fictional. Um, people have been sawn up with chainsaws. One man committed suicide using a chainsaw. And he was a, bio, where, where, a biochemist. Where did he do his innards? Yeah. I mean, he killed his wife, first of all, and then he, he killed himself. How can you commit suicide with a chainsaw? I mean, you've got to be off your head, haven't you? Another one, um, the guy, he um, he, he chainsawed up somebody, um, and he was, an, he was a school teacher or professor. So he hired a chainsaw and s sawed his partner up his gay partner into pieces but then he took the chainsaw back and of course when it was serviced there was all bone and flesh inside it so he got <sighs> caught but the chainsaw massacre great story it's one of those typical ones where you get half a dozen three or four is it dim-witted kids they go out wandering around the fields they come across a graveyard or something and they go oh look grandpa's grave's been then they go to this haunted house and there's that leather. Oh, my God. And he goes around soaring up and putting somebody in a freezer and hanging them on meat hooks. But it didn't happen. And some of the locations for that film, which have been portrayed to be the real locations, they're thousands of miles apart. <laughs> didn't uh... but, but, but one little point I've got to tell you. Yeah. This little town called Poth. Now, you've been to Texas. You've been to small town Texas, haven't you? Oh, yeah. It's not, <laughs> not so different from small town Arizona. No. It's it. right, well, Poth claimed, they made a mistake, actually. What they did was they said, well, we, the, this happened here. This was a true story. It happened in our town, our small town. Then they opened up a store saying Chainsaw Massacre and memorabilia. And thousands of rednecks from all over the states go and visit where they think the chainsaw massacre happened and it literally drove the locals out of it <laughs> <laughs> but texas i love it i love i love their their attitude you know? yeah feisty and gunslinging <laughs> <clears throat> yeah and the fact that all the men call the women mum. <laughs> <laughs> sounds like a kink 